Rasty McGibbon with Riley Ball, Minot State Women's Division One, day one of the national tournament for you ladies. So first of all, congratulations on getting here. Thank you. Um, you are matching up against uh, University of Michigan. Have you played them this year? Uh, no, we have not. So from a preparation standpoint, how, how, how do you prepare yourself individually and as a team for teams that you hadn't faced? Um, so we like playing um, teams that we haven't played. Um, don't know much about them, but uh, break down film, talk about um, their strengths and weaknesses and whatnot. So kind of prepare as a group. Um, coaches help us out a lot with that, so yeah. You told me just before we went on that you're a senior. Um, so, uh, do you think that that adds another level of dimension or dynamic as, as this is, you know, potentially the end of your, of, of your university hockey career? Yeah, definitely. I mean, super sad, but it's also um, very exciting for us seniors. There's five of us, so we're all here to battle and play hard and give it our all because this is the final, so we're going to come out hard. T tell me a little bit about opportunity. Tell me about the opportunities that Minot, I mean, uh, big ACHA hockey school, mm -hmm. and also the ACHA. So being able to pursue a university degree and uh, play hockey uh, and, and stay in your home state, combine mm -hmm. all those things together. Oh, gosh. So it's really nice because my parents are always uh, coming to my game to support me. Only an hour and a half drive, so not too bad for them. And with hockey and school, I'd say, it's definitely a balance, a balance, but um, once you get it all figured out, it's okay. I'm in nursing school, so I do uh, miss a little bit of school here and there, but the teachers are really, really good at uh, communicating and adapting with your schedule, so it's it's great small community. So everybody knows everybody, and the professors are here to cheer you on, and I actually already got a couple of text messages from my professors today, oh, cool, wishing cool. you good luck, yeah. so yeah, it's a very tight-knit community. You talk about tight knit. Tell me about the tight knit group of ladies in your locker room and uh, how special it has uh, been for, for you to be part of that. Oh gosh, all the girls, I love every single one of them. We have a pretty uh, tight bond. Um, we, we do everything together basically. So I mean, the girls and the team, the atmosphere, it's awesome around, especially in Minot, just because it's small knit and um, the Canadians, there's a lot of Canadians, so it's kind of fun uh, giving each other hard times here and there. Canadian, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we give each other hard time with, you know, tennis shoes, runners, whatever you want to call right, them. Right, right. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's fun. Um, you know, also the men's, uh, men's hockey team, uh, you know, successful national championship last year. Um, earlier exit that I think they would have anticipated, but uh, tell, tell me the dynamic of being a women's hockey team where you also have a successful men's hockey team. Um, it's awesome because we definitely go out and support them. They support us. We get to learn from them. I mean, watching their games slow faster and a little bit more uh, hits, I, I guess, but um, definitely very supportive and we just, we kind of look up to them in a sense of, hey, we got to see them win a national title and we want to do the same as them. So, yeah, it's very it's very awesome to see both the teams. I mean, super tight bond between both of us. Well, hey, I want to wish you uh, ladies best of luck. Okay, this is Riley Ball, Minot State Women's Division One in day one at the National Championship, St. Louis, Missouri.